Hi everyone, this is Nightfighter22. I hope you guys are all well. Okay, so we're gonna learn another live 5 minute blitz. Hmm, do I wanna play E4 again? Maybe the Rete is uh, how I feel today. I don't always wanna get into E4. Now D4, so I don't wanna go for an E4 structure, and then Bishop G7 with C4. So this is a reverse Grand Prix attack. Ideally, I would have liked to play Knight C3 and E4 and F4, but I decided not to go for that structure. So this looks like a King's Indian defense uh with the idea of d6 knight from b to d7 um so yeah um yeah chess is going all right for me as you can see my rating isn't as much as what it should be um just to let you guys know i am on work experience uh next week in london so i won't be making as many videos and then after that i'm on a cycling tour uh, all weekend uh so i might not be making any videos uh, for about a week and a half uh but i hope that doesn't trouble you I'm sure we have other stuff to do. Um, I want to play bishop d3 because that bishop's strong. Trade off the light square bishops because our uh, dark square bishop is already very active. This guy's ready quite high and he looks like he's quite serious about his chess uh, because he's um, a diamond member. So I want to go ahead and beat him. Okay, he's wasted a temple with his bishop. Then we just want to play h3. Hopefully that would get the queen in with a tempo. No, he's played back. Okay, so we moved his bishop three times in a row, which I'm quite happy about. Because as you can see, we are ahead in development a long way. Hmm, I don't want to weaken e5. I don't want to weaken e5, okay. The c4, e takes, e takes, queen, queen b3. Queen b3 looks actually really good. So queen b3, oh hang on, knight a5, queen b3, knight a5, knight b4. Four, sorry, queen b4. Interesting move. Interesting move. We can always move the queen if I get too severe. My plan is to break through. Why haven't we played e4 yet? I feel as though that's a move we should play, followed by e5 and get the rookie one. Is he going to? Is he going to be a desperate player? You know, the idea with desperate players is they try and exploit stuff immediately. Not this kind of idea, but he'll probably play a6, b5, and try and exploit whatever trumps they have. E.g. his trump is he could be looking for a tempo or a waste of a move with my queen. He sacrificed a good position of a knight to get my queen out of there. If I play queen a3, you have to go back. Let's have a go at that. Hey, queen a3, I have to go back. Okay. Now I have to go back. <laughs> um, B7 is quite a nice place, but I'm hoping to get this knight out of the game for a bit. E4. Jeez, look at his pawns. Okay, we've got to we've got to fix this pawn structure a bit. As far as I can see, all of them are defended, uh, but they're not defended by other pawns. They're defended by minor pieces, which could mean our pawn structure it doesn't turn out to be very good. Also, I want to close this down. So this knight has no chance of escaping. Um, although we can't play d5. d5 is going to have to stay as a foundation pawn. Because I don't want this knight coming out and onto d4. Pawn takes knight takes. Bishop takes. Bishop takes. Yeah, e5. No, I think get the queen over to b3 and then we can also play a4. So on pawn takes. Knight takes. Bishop takes. I guess. Mm hmm. Pawn takes, knight takes, bishop takes, pawn takes. And then we've always got this nice solid structure after you play a4, if he wants to go for those kind of, um, structures. I don't really see, this is very, it's, sorry, it's a very positional game, it's very sort of, um, positional for the moment. Okay, what is he trying to do? So if the pawn takes and pawn takes back, but that's going to be defended by two pieces anyway. So queen e8 is, um, not a good move. Not a good move. We need to we need to make progress. We've built up a nice attack, and he's moved his queen again. Now, I talked about the whole idea of positional trumps was a move just immediately to play rook c1. But I'm going to play rook to e1 first. Rook from f to e1. Uh, just preparing. Hang on. He's made an interesting sacrifice which I could have overlooked. 
which I could have avoided. I could have, but I don't think I have. Right, um, actually, this, um, this could play Queen D7, actually. That Queen D7. Hmm. I want to stop him from playing Queen D7. After we do this. If we do that. Maybe asking for him for a Queen trade. And then win the Bishop. Possibly. Uh, because I don't want, um. I don't really want this kind of attack. Oh. Looks like we're in trouble now. Uh. Oh dear. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. We need to protect our light squares, but. I don't see any way to do that if G3 will lose a knight. I don't want to have to resolve to this. I don't want to have to resolve to bishop f1. We're down on time as well. Yep. Yeah. We could play this, actually. Should we go for this? It looks quite appetizing. Take sticks. And then I think his attack is a bit blunted. We're down a pawn of material. Now a nice defended. And then we can actually fianchetta the bishop. I think our position's okay. I think our position's okay. After that rumble, he's got some weaknesses. As well as us having a lot of weaknesses. Our position's not well defended. It's not well structured. Um, and we're down on the clock a lot. I want to play bishop d2. Liberate this knight. Uh, so then that hasn't got to guard d4. Also though I don't want the queen to guard the knight because I want to take the pawn to b6. I'm happy if he wants to go ahead and attack this. Bishop g3 is nice. Always, uh, you know, aiming tactics on the rook. Oliver Morley. So we are 47 seconds down on the clock. But luckily that's already gone down to 44 seconds. And that's gone down to 40 seconds. And 38 seconds. <laughs> anyway, um... Knight back. Okay, knight d, knight d6. C. Okay, he's gonna play C. D wants to trade off a knight. Let's stop that immediately. I wanted to do that as well because d4 was a big weakness. I know it opens up this bishop, but this bishop's pretty, you know, there's not much down here really that the bishop can do. And the time is narrowing down a little. E5. Bishop g2. Uh, the time's narrowing down a little, which is good. Which is what I want. So, now we can't take on b6. And now we're just gonna have to, uh, gonna have to move fast because it was a very positional game, a lot of, um, tactics involved. Knight d2. Let's go knight d2. That knight wasn't in a very good position. I could play knight in or I could play bishop in. Da. Good move. Um, hang on, we're going to have to be careful now. Actually, let's do this. Pin the pawn. Pin the pawn to the queen. Right. Let's take that one. This is going to play queen takes his knee here. F3 loses the bishop. F3 loses the bishop. Oh, well. Okay, it's fine. Let's play on. Let's play on like a man. I'm definitely not a mouse. 28 seconds. 28 seconds. Do you think we can win? We have to checkmate in 28 seconds. That's how severe this is. Okay, let's go. Bang. Let's just let's just be a monster. A monster of terror. We will terrorize you to all the hip. Okay, let's go. Terrorizing chess lovers. Bom bom bom. Okay, knight g4. Is my immediate threats, and I want to take on d6 after this queen's gone. Yeah, that's a nice move. Hopefully, falling into a trap, which he might not fall for because he's a high player. So we will question our. Um, let's do this because we need. Oh, now the pawn's pins after I move the bishop. Oh well. No, this isn't good. Knight takes, bishop takes. 
Yep, queen takes. There we go. This is not good. I sacrificed all that material to win a pawn. Okay, the time is almost level. Damn, that wasn't good. He's just going to trade that off because we're threatening checkmate. Ah, damn it! He's got 19 seconds to checkmate us, so. Okay, we need to get this one out of there. Oh, he's winning pawns like a maniac. And he can utilize both his rooks to checkmate us. I don't know what I'm doing. We've got to get this out of here. Now, quickly. I want to win on time. I want to win on time. I don't think it's going to happen. Is he going to double? If he doubles, we're lost. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Thank goodness. Oof, I thought. Yep, I thought, yeah. As soon as I did this on free move, I was like, oh, if he doubled, we've uh, pretty much lost. But yeah, that was a pretty good game. I'm happy to go up two points in material, as he was a high rate to play. So now 12.34. It's okay. It's pretty average, really. Uh, so thanks so much for watching the video. Um, I didn't believe I drew that. <laughs> Night Fighter 22. I wish you good luck playing chess, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.